In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a mic that's not working on Warzone. If you need help with your microphone and want some tips that'll work 90% of the time, then this is a video for you. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Smack. A lot of people have been asking me for an updated video on how to fix a microphone for Warzone because their mics are not working. So in this video, I'm going to go over nine different techniques that will help work if your mic is no longer working. I definitely know how important it is to make sure you're able to talk to your friends because without that, it really takes away the game. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Inside Warzone, you want to make sure you choose audio. Under audio, we're going to scroll down the voice chat. This is a section we're concerned about inside the game. First, you want to make sure voice chat's enabled. A lot of times people might not have it enabled or might have one of these. I would not use these until you get it working. Just go with straight up enabled. Voice chat device. Go with your default communication device at this point. We'll go more into this in a moment. Microphone activation mode. Here you can have a button to push for it to work or open mic. I would say just leave it open all the time until we get this set up. If you decide not to do that and you have pushed to talk, the next line will tell you the key that is used to push to talk, which is V for Victor. But we're going to go open mic. Next is open mic recording threshold. A lot of people miss this one and end up having problems with it. If it's on, say, 11.58, basically that's designed to cut out the background noise. If there is any, it won't pick up. So if there's a little noise in the background under whatever this number is, it's just going to filter it out. Now, certain mics might not be working very well, and this might be muting you altogether. So I say go zero. Don't worry about background noise right now. Get it working. Later on, everything's working. You could try turning it up a little bit to filter out some you know, air conditioner in the background or kids yelling, whatever you need to. Voice chat volume, this is going to be one that you want at 100%. I would just leave it at 100. You can't even go higher, but 100 should get it working for you. You can also click in here and just hit the numbers and hit enter if you want to just type it that way. Microphone volume, also I would leave at 100%. However, if you're using the microphone and people can barely hear you, you can come in here and turn it up more. I would just say, how well do you hear me? If they're like, you know, it's just okay, uh, you need to double it, then just go to 200. It's a good idea to kind of ask them before you mess around here. Next is going to be your voice chat effect. I would leave these off just because it could cause more problems with your voice chat, and we don't want to have that. So let's just leave no effect for now. If you change anything, make sure you go ahead and save it and then go back. So for default communication device, what this is going to do is it's going to take your PC settings and go with them. Now all the settings we talked about so far are for PC. However, they will also work on other systems as well. But where we're going to go right now is going to be more specifically for PC. So with the voice chat device, what we want to do is go into battle.net and you'll see it right here. What we're going to do is choose the settings gear here for options. In options, we're going to choose game settings. And then game settings, we're going to go and choose voice chat. So voice chat, you want to also make sure you leave them on your system default and input microphone system default. So this is going to use whatever your PC is using. So if your microphone is working in, for example, Discord or any other game, then this should take care of it by making sure it says system default. You can also test your microphone just by clicking here. Again, I would leave this open mic in here and make sure this is fine. I would change all your settings on the PC itself because that's where everything is coming from. Let me go to the desktop and show you exactly what I mean. Now that we're on a desktop, we're going to right click on the microphone and go to open sound settings. Your sound settings will open up here and you'll see your output, which is your speakers. For me, I have it set up differently, so you could just kind of ignore what I have here, but just think this is a speaker. And then down here, input device is the Blue Yeti microphone. That's correct. And you can see it's working as I talk here, so we know everything's good. You want to make sure your microphone is selected here. If it's not selected, it's not going to be working. If you have something else selected there, it could be more of an issue. 
You can also go down here to advanced sound options, click on app volume and device preferences. It's going to bring up everything that you are set up in. You should see a war zone option in here. If you can, you can choose it here. If not, just don't worry about that. Just go to the main one and make sure this input's set up. But if it is showing there, then you can customize it more. That should take care of it for you. But let's say it doesn't. Say you're still having a problem and you're not able to choose a microphone or your microphone's not working. What you want to do is go ahead and choose sound control panel here. And here you'll have some options. Playback is basically speakers and recording is microphone. So if you're having a problem with your speakers, you want to be on playback. If you're having a problem with your microphone, you want to go to recording. So recording, what I'll do is go down here and look for my microphone. And there's my microphone. Say this was my microphone here. It's not, but let's just say it was. What I would do is right click and make sure it's enabled. Currently this says disable, so that means it's already enabled. So if this was my microphone, I would right click here and choose set as default device. Next I would go in here, right click again, and choose set as default communication device. That's very important to use set default communication devices. Now if I go to my microphone now and right click on it, you're not going to see those options because it is already the default. So if you have your microphone here, it's got a green check and it's not disabled, then it should be working for you. If it's not, then you most likely have a bad microphone. Try to use another one and see if that takes care of it for you. Make sure you also rebooted recently since you started having the problem. This should take care of it for you. With all these steps, you should now have Warzone voice chat working. Make sure you choose OK. And then again, if you have changed anything there, make sure you select your microphone here. And then you will be all set and you should be working in game. If this didn't work, please leave any messages down below. What's happening to you? Get some more information. Get a conversation going. By that, someone else may be able to help or I might notice and I'll be able to help as well. I noticed I didn't cover this fully because I kind of like put it off to another video, but this is the one that will take care of it for you. I hope this helped, and if it did, please make sure you smack the like button. If it didn't work, dislike so we know the ratio of how well this is working. If you do need a new headset, I do recommend the one I'm using. I currently have it linked down below. It's the HyperX Cloud Wireless. It's an amazing headset. And I also have another one linked down below that is more of the cheaper side, but is really good. So you could check those out. Thank you. And I have some other videos in case you want to try those. Here they are.